much light in there. And this will turn it better. Hey guys. Like usually, can you hear me? Can you see me? Can you restart? Montana came by to say hi. Hey puppy. So, I just got my notification. And I guess we're good right now. I don't know. Oh yeah. Okay, what's up guys? How are you? I know it's been a while. Hi everyone. I missed you. And today... We're just gonna cook. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> Hey everyone, hey hello, 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 Dave, Darud, first time seeing you here, right? Um, Wender, Slim, Slim Dicky, yeah, I missed you, I missed you too. What's wrong with the lighting again? Okay, I guess this one is going to be better because it's right in my face. <laughs> all right, all right. So what's up? What's going on? Don't say my name, Jabi. Okay, Jabi. Chili Freeman. I have a question for you. Absolutely. Let me take some food out because I need to start cooking right now. I'm super hungry, and today. I decided to make something like simple, not that long time going, but still good. <coughs> All right. You know, I always have trouble with potatoes. Uh, thank you. Okay, I'm always trying to get... You know, I was saying that I have a trouble with potatoes in America. But actually, with those one I have, you see, it was broken. But I believe so, it was broken because they tried to dig it out <laughs> maybe i don't know <laughs> so let me see what we can do about it i want a big potato because we're gonna cut it in half and put inside some cheese butter and uh, sour cream so it's gonna be easy mashed potato something like that but i cannot see the big potatoes I found two right there. Let me take my big beautiful friend out. <laughs> This one. Love this. Okay, just gonna cut them in half. And this 
Do you put salt in the potato first or you add it later? Let me know right now. Add salt first. When the last time you eat gretchka? I actually have gretchka, but it doesn't call gretchka here. It says kasha, and but it's like it's like absolutely the same, like a gretchka, like a gretchka, like a real gretchka. So um, probably I eat it. If I'm not gonna lie, a few months ago, it's not my favorite meal, but sometimes I really missed it, so sometimes I really eat it. Uh, hello, Australia, German here. Um, we in America, it's not Australia, I'm sorry. <laughs> Backwit, yeah. Uh, Backwit. So. Yeah, it says 100% pure roasted backwit. I'm not sure if I pronounce it the right way, like usually. So, morning from there. Morning. Hey, beautiful. Why you look beautiful as always? I'm good cook. Wish I was there to assist you. Oh, I wish somebody <laughs> could like just assist me <laughs> because I consider myself uh, not a bad cooker because everything I do most of the time, most, not every time, most of the time it's like actually really good, but I'm trying, I'm um, experimenting, <laughs> so that's why, yeah, now that's a knife, oh, I love this, I'm moving soon, and I'm gonna buy a bunch of, not a bunch of, probably like three more knives, because I need smaller one, I need the one to peel potatoes, and the, this was is my favorite. That's thank you. Thank you. Um, Russia is plus seven hours east coast, I believe. Yeah, it's around. It depends. Like Russia is the hugest country in the world, the biggest country in the world. So that's why with somewhere it's can be like plus seven hours with some like plus eleven hours so it's like it's so separate so like far away from uh one part of in russia from the other one if i'm not mistaken i'm not gonna lie we have eight hours from the one part to the other one so kashmirian we kashmirian love <laughs> okay great uh, no look at the moment. How are you today? I'm doing good guys Maybe I should find me a Russian woman to marry. They're good at everything. Oh, yeah Good choice <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm always uh, to All my American guy friends like a boy friends <laughs> like a guy's friends. I'm always um, Recommending like a friend so like matchmaker, right? Right? Yeah, matchmaker. How to call it? So because I know the guys usually like like a traditional woman, cooking, cleaning, um, do dishes. I don't know, feed the babies. But you have to also be a provider. We also work in a lot. That's right. Especially me. <laughs> I'm working a lot, but. If you're gonna say, hey, listen, you're gonna stay home, girl, and I'm gonna provide like money for the family, you definitely can get a really good Russian woman. So, I bought a cheese in Walgreens. <laughs> so, Montana is right there. Let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna share with you some cheese, okay? There's a movie about that Yaki, the New Year's movie. Russian are hot as hell in the summer and 
cold as hell in the winter. I know, trust me. Been there many times. I don't trust you because I'm obviously Russian and I'm from Russia. And in the part where I was living, um, it's absolutely the same weather as right there in New Jersey where I am right now. So that's why I wouldn't say it's like a crazy cold because sometimes in the, my city where I was living before, I wouldn't even wear like a, um, how to say like a winter coat, right? But here I have to, I have to wear like a warm jacket, like a big coat because it's wet here where I'm living at in New Jersey. So, and that's why like I'm wearing a lot of clothes in the winter, which I don't like, which I don't like. And I promised myself to move, but, but Sorry. Sorry, but New Jersey is a money maker. <laughs> Coldest place in Russia, Yakutia. Yeah, like I said here, Russia is huge. Somewhere uh, it's so cold in the middle, whereas actually right now we are on the same, same parallel with uh, New Jersey where I am right now. It's the same weather, but if we're going down, it's obviously summer like all uh, all over the year. So I love German German Gelkus words, curse word. Oh, I don't know them. Minnesota going. I never been in Minnesota, so I don't I don't know. <laughs> But I trust somebody who is from Minnesota, actually. Okay, I forgot about salt when I was talking to you. I decided to cut one more little potato. Little one. And it's going... Just gone. Okay. I'm gonna put some salt. we're gonna do a steak today uh, when I do steak I'm doing it super simple um, I love when it's sorry Montana I love when it's uh, in the middle a little bit not cooked but still cooked but still like a brown you know not red because I'm not sure in the uh, with meat which I'm buying my in my next 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 door store uh, but if I would go to the restaurant I probably I probably would order like a middle, 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 how to say middle, I forgot, so not, ah, rare, that's what I mean, so, I'm not from Minnesota, I'm about two or three hours north of, of Jersey, okay, hi, hey, <laughs> what are you cooking, so today we're just cooking potato, which is cut on a half, it's going to be mixed with um, butter, cheese, and sour cream. And here is going to be a steak, just with butter, salt, and pepper. I guess that's it. Medium rare, yeah. I can confirm that Minnesota is cold during the winter. Hey, Eric. <laughs> Eric's here in the house. Hi, how are you? Hawaii Cantley, Card Henry, Card Henry, sorry. Okay, medium rare, aristocratic style. Okay, so let me put my steak, but first of all, I need butter. I froze my steak before. So, give me one second.
I'm coming back. <laughs> And I'm probably gonna make a salad. I will open your secret. What the heck is Montana doing eating a cat? <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. So he was eating or like drinking, I don't know. Shout out, shout out to Yekaterinburg! Shout out to Yekaterinburg! I was there a few times, guys. Beautiful, beautiful city. <laughs> you're truly well. Yep, you're in his life. Okay, I'm gonna open you a secret. So, I'm not eating salads, but today I have a friend. She's coming later, maybe in you know, 40 minutes, I don't know. So, and she loves salads. I hate salads, but with. Can you stop it? So, but. I, I have to like, I have to be, how to say, like, welcome, welcome person, so, um, yeah, we're gonna make a salad for her, she's cute, of course she's cute, I don't have other friends, I don't have a paper towel anymore. Okay. Sorry. I forgot to buy them. And I used to like when you're cleaning sometimes you're you're going to to take a paper towel, but I forgot to buy them today. Alright, love the kitchen. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, but I mean, I'm just like renting, <laughs> I'm renting the apartment, but if you saw my last story, I bought a house, guys, I bought a house, so, and I can't afford the kitchen yet, but I have a kitchen in my mind, maybe in a year, let's say, so right now is the most important part of the house, it's my actual room to work and the bathroom so kitchen not a priority <laughs> that's why it's gonna be kind of the same uh, maybe a little bit more older but we'll figure it out so this is a big slab of butter so it's for steak for two of them i know it's probably not healthy but i love butter okay don't judge me <laughs> Butter is perfect. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> Buttercream is a favorite type of cake. Mm, I never tried. It's probably better than deep fried. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, like, I'm always cooking with a lot of butter. I mean, if it's like steak or if it's pasta. Mm. What are you cooking? So we're cooking just a simple steak with butter, <laughs> with a lot of butter and potato cut in a half with uh, butter obviously, um, sour cream and cheese. So that's what we're making. Guys, give me one second. I don't know why, I like, I guess I hurt myself today. I gotta put some medicine on it, okay? I was 
cleaning today and I guess like I cut myself somewhere a little bit so okay olive oil should be used with pasta unless you're making the traditional carbonara here we are I love carbonara carbonara is my favorite pasta and it's my everything like I am I'm I'm in love with pasta especially carbonara recently I had a story um you gotta add fresh picked or garlic powder yeah unfortunately I don't have much food in my fridge right now because I'm moving soon and I'm trying to eat everything <laughs> everything what I have and right now it's like I'm not buying more food I'm buying just like tomatoes you know avocado which is I'm eating almost every day but otherwise it's just like I'm not buying food all right let me make some salad my beautiful Potatoes, Slavic diet. <laughs> yeah. The Italian really hits it out of the park with pasta, but their meal staple dishes are a bit mess. What? <laughs> Sorry, you don't like it? You have a very nice kitchen. I appreciate it. It's not my kitchen, it's just like I'm renting, but we're gonna move some. They actually go well on salads with the Russian style vinegar. Vinaigrette, hmm, I hated it when I was young, but I changed my mind later on, so probably right now I actually love vinegar, but I would never do it by myself. Do you not like salad because of the letters? So, I actually, yeah, I hate anything what it looks like a grass, so anything what it tastes like grass, for me anything green tastes like grass so <laughs> that's why I don't like it and I, I, I want to show you today I found those things they're pretty nasty like that but I never sold them since my childhood and I remember my grandparents always was buying me this uh, what is that like a jelly Jelly beans, whatever. Little. Some chewy stuff, you know, looks like a strawberry. Tastes disgusting, but it just like tastes like childhood. I'm gonna finish the steaks in the oven. Um, I never did steaks in the oven. Tell us how you're doing it.
what you can actually put steak in the oven. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. <laughs> I'm I'm confused, but tell us. I'm sure you can put like some cheese on it, tomatoes. I don't know. You just like finish it, like something like that. I don't know. But I didn't plan it. But if you're gonna share it with us, so it even smells like a drug. So, and I know like a lot of people love salad, you know, especially the people who is eating healthy. And I'm sure it is healthy and really good. It's like. It's like full, full. That's <laughs> that's it. Nope, not me, Eric. What happened? Did he forget you a night? No, no, it wasn't. I already went grocery shopping for my girlfriend. Good for you. Good for her. Good for her. When's her birthday? Oh. Today, one of my girls. You're saying about birthday because uh, it's one of my girls' birthday soon, and her boyfriend just like proposed to her, and she sent me a message with the ring, with the everything. She's like was so happy, and she's the one who's biting nails all the time, and I was so surprised that she didn't bite bit her nails this time, and I hate when my people are doing that, and I'm arguing all the time, but I just was so happy for her that she didn't bit nails while her proposal so <laughs> that's my point that's my point of the story tomatoes i love those tomatoes i have fish of cucumber I actually don't eat cucumber also, but this time I had it because my other friend who is in Russia, she loves cucumber. When I went shopping, I was calling her and she's like, oh, take, take cucumber. I'm like, I don't eat cucumber. But you see, it worked out. I love when potato is like super soft and you can do whatever you want with them. Cucumber are underrated. Actually, yes. Because cucumber is like 90% water. So if you want to diet, you can eat like 30 cucumbers. You're going to be super full, but you're going to have no like actually like literally no calories in your body. Water. There she is beautiful inside and out. Thank you. You're you're awesome guys. Thank you. You're so you're so good to me. I love you. Your oven is blinking. In this house, everything is talking. Like recently, my cooler for my clients when I'm keeping some like hot seltzer, water, like some beers for my clients, my transberry juice, it start talk to me. It's like perfect, 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 perfect. I don't know what does it mean and why the appliances right appliances talking to me but i'm like okay whatever i don't i don't understand eric snare thank you for your cutest tree and 
donation. I appreciate that. I love Christmas trees. I love, love, love. I only like avocado when it's in the guacamole. Oh yeah? I love avocado. I would eat it... Oh, I actually love pasta with avocado. Just like... Just like literally pasta with avocado. <laughs> like avocado. I thought so. Maybe try Koryatiki. Koryatiki? Koryatiki? Koryatiki. Greek village salad. No letter in it. It has tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, olives, bell peppers, and feta cheese. We call it Greek, cheese, Greek salad. So, yeah, I can eat it. The other thing, I don't eat olives. But it's alright. Avocado is amazing. Yeah, avocado is amazing and has like so much good oils in it and vitamins. So, avocado is super, super, super healthy. And avocado is tomatoes. Mm. Where she's moving to? So I just bought a house and it has some reconstruction right now and I'm moving to my house but I can't say it's my house because it's obviously it's obviously a um, mortgage, right? So uh, I'm a house payer right now <laughs> I'm a mortgage payer I'm and it's a two-family house, so that's why it's going to be a little bit easier. It's going to be a little bit lighter on myself. That's why I stepped into it. Same state? Yeah. Same New Jersey. New Jersey. So. I'm gonna try my steak. I know, I know I'm not supposed to do it, but... I just love to try, to try it when it's like no salt on it. Still a jersey girl. Yep. Mm -hmm. That is good. I have some small cheap chili sea salt. It sounds good. Let's try it. <laughs> just got off the work we are cooking tonight hey Sean yep we just we already actually we, we're done I made a salad not for me for my friend I have two steaks and potatoes 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 which is you want on potatoes like I said I didn't have my choice I went to Walgreens and I bought cheeses, so 
a blend of cheddar, pasteurized American cheese and sweet or mozzarella, not smoked provolone cheese, I don't know this words, I'm sorry. Okay, orange or white cheese, which we put in potatoes. <laughs> I like pink Himalayan. I actually have it. I actually have Himalayan, Himalayan, Himalayan salt. I drink in well. Um, I'm not drinking, but if she is gonna come and say, hey, I wanna drink, no problem. Does your boyfriend ever do any cooking? My boyfriend? Which one? <laughs> Which one? That's interesting. A little of both. Mm -hmm. A little of both. Okay, I think it's a great idea. I'm gonna take out one potato and we try to mix everything in, 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 inside. how like easy my core going through that so this is the best feeling okay I'm gonna make a little bit of mess inside in my in my potato butter by the way do you have a favorite butter because I don't know any butter I'm buying is like the same butter inside I'm like why what's the difference to have all this packaging if the butter inside actually the same. We have like a really good butter sometimes. Okay. A little bit of cheeses. Montana is too busy working out to <laughs> cook. Montana, yeah. Oh Montana. Yeah. You saw the last um the last reel on um, the Sean's page, I mean like in Montana's page, which is the Sean own. So that yeah, did really good with Montana, it's like super big boy. I'm Canadian. Have you ever considered being a mail order bride and moving to Canada? What is mail order bride? What? So, first of all, I'm not sure if I consider myself going to Canada. First of all, I've never been in Canada, let's start from there. Uh, but I hear just nice uh, thing about Canada and actually Canadians. Because everyone say the Canadians is so nice. But I never met Canadians in my life, so... Okay. Okay, let's try this mess. It's cheesy. This is amazing. Incredible. Just so good. I love it. I love potatoes, so <laughs> I love everything with potato. Do you ever plan to go back to Russia? I wouldn't say like I'm planning to go back to live in Russia. We don't know the future, let's start from there. I don't know, I'm not sure. But for now, I love America with any conditions, you know, it's like unconditional love. <laughs> so with everything is going on. Uh, I would definitely visit Russia because I missed Russia so much. I miss people, I miss my family obviously, I miss some food, I miss the good hot chocolate, which is so difficult to find in America. So Kerry Gold Irish butter is a very creamy. Kerry Gold. I'm gonna make a screenshot because like 
you know, I'm always trying to find the good food. <laughs> He's saying, you buy a house here, you are not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. But like I said before, it was more like an investment because it's a two-family house and it's definitely not my forever home because it's not my dream home, it's just a really good house and people actually who is working on it right now, saying the house in a good condition, I'm trying to make it a little bit more modern, like here and there, you know, like themed, uh, to replace the bathroom, the everything. Like, let's see, I'll show you, I'll show you later on how it like looks on an inside. Um, because right now they're working just outside and I'll show you later on, okay? And if you're part of my Patreon, you saw that I have a bird who had a house, who had, who had her own house in my house. <laughs> so it was so weird, but this little bird... I came, I came to her again today and she's just like sitting on her children and this little like little bird, birdses, birdses, bird, birds, little kids, bird kids, I don't know, um, so cute, so yeah, I, I bought a house with a bird and her house, I don't know. <laughs> Stay in the apartment and rent the house. You mean like rent it out? Why would I pay two mortgages if I can live in my house almost for free? Not almost for free, let's say. I mean because it's a two family house, so people are gonna pay. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Right on me. No. No, thank you. I'm good. I'm trying to be as far as possible from Russian people. Find some Mexican hot chocolate. You will love it. Oh, I need to try. I know some Mexican spots around. Brooklyn, you will feed right at home, only Russia. Listen, Brooklyn, it's nothing like Russia. People who emigrate, some immigrants from 90s, 80s, from my grandparents' time, who moved to Brooklyn, to Brighton Beach over there, they made themselves feel like they're at home. 90s, 80s is not my home. It's horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is horrible. What people are doing there, it's like nothing modern. It's nothing to do with Russia. Nothing. Even when my grandparents, when I'm coming to... I'm not coming when I came a few times before to Brighton Beach and I showed my parents how the people look like over there, how the people house is over there. They think in there like super stylish, modern and everything but they just stuck it's like a little time capsule when i showed my grandparents how the people lived over there they're like damn we don't have those type of things already for the last 20 years because when i was young i'm 25 years old 25 years old and i remember myself uh, when i was like in this age like like i was like three four five years old yes that's brooklyn if you want to go over there and feel yourself like you're 20 years like 20 years younger you can go over there but the people who is like from modern russia right now who is already, like me i'm considering myself so it's like horrible 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 i wouldn't go and live over there so uh. okay Come to Alabama, great fishing, awesome football, fishing, 
I wasn't fishing maybe one, maybe two times in my life. My grandfather actually a really good fisher and fish maker after. So whatever you need to make with the fish. So, but I'm not like good at it. Okay. What's your biggest culture shock when you move to America? You know what? People, when people right now asking me, it's like, seems it was like so long time ago. It's like, it's it just two years, but I already got used to so many things and it doesn't seem weird to me. First of all, obviously, all Americans are smiling to you on the streets. This is not normal. In Russia, if you're gonna smile to like, some, not like, of course, like if you, if you're gonna smile to someone, first I'm gonna think like, oh, I know her or it's like what the fuck are you smiling at that's like <laughs> that's probably the biggest culture shock uh, the horrible customer service in America this was a really culture shock because how do we see America we see America is like beautiful uh, everything is perfect everyone is obviously rich you know and everyone is eating the restaurants every single day this is how you like see in the movies right you're not seeing our real life in America so and for me the culture shock probably was uh, the customer service because in Russia when you come into the any restaurants any we don't have you know for example um, what I, I don't even know in New Jersey it's a lot of restaurants in New Jersey when you come in and the tables they was never changed since 20 10 years ago right in Russia, it's like almost maybe, maybe when I was living, okay? I'm not gonna speak for the whole Russia, in the place where I was living. Um, it's like you're never gonna see the table which is like my age, you know? You're like everything is rusty, the floor is dirty, the like, I don't know, that's what the culture show because like you accept, you're expecting everything like brand new, beautiful but in reality you're not getting that that's probably was a cultural show but you need just to find the right place okay all right guys uh, my girl my friend is gonna be here in five minutes <laughs> you're gonna say people smiling at you on the streets it's not normal no, it's not normal. Like, why, why are you smiling? Why your life is so happy? Are you happy in your life? You know, <laughs> like, why are you smiling at me? Um, that's that. That's the thing. <laughs> Have you ever been to Germany for the Christmas market? Nope. I leave you a link in my Patreon for you to see the decorations. Oh, food! I gonna enjoy. I love it. Rusty tables and dirty floors is called atmosphere. Thank you, Dave. It's atmosphere. So now we know it's atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. When I so when I came to America, I had my other Instagram, my old Instagram, which I had for 13 years, and I deleted after. So and i was sharing with like obviously russian people what's going on in america and people was like no when i was sharing all this stuff people was like you're kidding like it's not possible it's impossible so yeah the russians didn't believe that you can see the big roach which is like walking around the restaurant you know it's all right so uh, smiling at you because you're beautiful, I think. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, emotional support hug. And to you too. To you too, guys. Hi, I love my channel. Oh, that's nice of you. <laughs> Alright, Roach? Yeah, Roach. Co cockroach? How to how to pronounce it again? I forgot. I'm sorry. The this thing, who is like super fast, like like a seed, like a seedless pod. Yeah. 
No, I pronounced it the right way? Yeah, you say corrected. Okay. Does your dog eat pasta? This dog can eat even raw potato if you drop it on the floor. So he, he is eating everything. Are we going to meet your friend? No. <laughs> no. I have some people who is like hates cameras, you know, so that's why I'm not going to show it. Okay, she's actually just sent me a message. She's downstairs. Okay, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here for me for a whole hour or whatever we 50 minutes. We're already here for the 50 minutes. Uh, what are we What are we going tonight? So we're already saying bye to each other. I just made some potatoes salad and steak super easy and I appreciate you coming guys subscribe my channel if you still didn't subscribe it Tap tap this like give me three more likes, please. I need three more likes from you for being 100 likes his paka paka Thank you, Sean, for sending all the other YouTube channels. Yeah, right now I'm so busy with the moving and I'm always promising myself that I'm gonna post more. <laughs> so pray for me and I will post more, okay? So have a good, 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 good time today, tomorrow. I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye guys.